This is Kevin Harlan. I'm joined by Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony. And David Aldridge will be reporting from the sideline. Tip-off goes to Milwaukee. Lillard scanning the floor. And if you claim to be a basketball purist, and Greg, I know you do, one thing you gotta love watching is great ball movement. Which is something both of these teams take pride in. It's always fun to watch guys be unselfish with the ball and look to make each other better. Now, here is Russell. After the miss from Damian Lillard. James wide open. Good on the three-point shot. I like this wrinkle. Put LeBron off the ball and then make a play for him. Pass to Middleton. Lillard outside. Inside. The kick out to Lopez. Good. And it's Giannis picking up the assist. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Now here's LeBron. Outside, Davis. Pass to Russell. Davis sets a screen. Five to shoot. And it's Davis with the jam. Great work by Davis in the screen roll. Good at making himself a big target in these situations. And you look at the career of D'Angelo Russell. I mean, he's played for several teams, including the Lakers, twice. Teams keep trading for D'Lo for his offense. He can be electric. There is a reason why he's been named an all-star in his career. Lopez. And the layup's good off the glass. Lopez has gotten five points so far. Can't let Lopez get comfortable down low. The second he does, there's no stopping. Pass to Reeves. Here's Russell. In the corner, it's James. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. Milwaukee ball. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Three pointer to Lillard. And Davis pulls it down. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Russell looking around. Pass to Davis. Out to Russell. Reeves outside. From deep, James. And Chris Middleton pulls it down. Shocking that he just bricked that one. The defense got real lucky there. Back to Anadokounmpo. There's the three. The rebound by James. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Briefly spoke with J.J. Redick. Now, the two of us talked about how important it is to make sure Chris Middleton doesn't get going. Coach said he's an all-star caliber player for a reason. Now, I told our guys to make sure we know where he is on the floor at all times. Now, it sounds like they respect and are aware just how impactful Middleton can be. Back to you guys. All right, David, thanks. Now, here is Davis. After the miss from Damian Lillard. And LeBron throws it down hard. Oh, okay. I guess LeBron wanted that one to sting a little. You put a little extra on that one. Now, Greg, it took 40 years, but the Bucks finally won their second NBA title back in 2021. Yeah, and Kareem leading that 71 squad. Giannis was the man in 2021, averaging 35 and 13 during the finals, closing out the Suns with that 50 piece in game six. Yeah, they had some botched coverage that turned into no cover. Always going up for the alley-oop here. And Hayes throws it down. Getting everyone involved. Russell operating the offense like a seasoned vet. And there is a whistle, and that's going to go on Jackson Hayes. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Giannis outside. 
for three. Middleton trains it from beyond the arc. And this is Middleton's game. He's thinking of shooting it even before the pass hits his hands. Over to the left wing. Vanderbilt gets a wide open look. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. And the wheel. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Here's Middleton. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. And he's very confident from that range, but you can't make him off. Outside, Russell. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's on Damian Lillard. So I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Lakers shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. And just to mention, a season ago, they were very comfortable at the line, hitting about 78% of their free throws. And so he hits both. And so it's Los Angeles with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. And thanks to their outstanding defense, the impact Damian Lillard has had on this game has been minimal. We come back right after this. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And from what we've seen so far from the Lakers, guys, what are your thoughts? An impressive start. They came in with a well-conceived game plan and have executed. Well, let's see if they're able to keep it up. So far, their shot selection and ball movement has been on point. And out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. Bucks trail by six. And here is Wright. And a wide open look for Portis. No good from outside. And JJ Reddick is called timeout. timeout. He wants to check in with his team and regroup. And we see dunkers get technicals for hanging on the rim, slapping the backboard, or Richard even staring someone down. Uh, should refs let that slide, or is that something they got to pay attention to? I don't mind the hanging on the rim, the smack in the back there. I love that aggression. The staring people down, that's something you got to be careful with because that can cause some problems, and we don't want any of those issues on the court. Here's Vincent. They set the pick. Pass to Hayes. The dunk and the foul, a powerhouse move, and he's got a chance for one more at the line. It's on Bobby Portis. Oh, I dunk you very much. <laughs> he, he can really fly it. You combine that, Greg, with some nice penetration, too, and you've got two points. Last break, the Lakers. The shot's good from Hayes. Hayes has got the lead up to 10 now for the Lakers. An agile play to get his hand in there and get the steal. Intelligent play to immediately start the break. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Kevin, thanks. The Bucks use their size defensively to great impact. Coach Doc Rivers said, we're not fast, we're long. So we get our fingertips on a lot of balls, and that slows fast teams down. Switching keeps guys in front of you, and the more size we can put in front of people, the better we can be. Kevin? EA, you follow this league for a long time. That sounds like a pretty good game plan. And something you see with the Lakers, they really trust their role players, don't they, Richard? Yeah, LeBron does a great job of empowering his group. That's why he's top five in the league all time in assists. If you earn his trust, he will give you a ton of space to work. The Lakers know that they can only go as far as their great group of role players. Now, here is Russell. Pass to LeBron. A three ball. They grab their own miss. From downtown, James connects from deep. When you're guarding LeBron, you have to give him something. So the king, well, he'll take a three-point basket. And Connaughton has it in the corner. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. 
Connaughton's got his first three points of the game. Outside, Russell. Pass to Wood. LeBron James on the wing. Six on the shot clock. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Comes up empty here. That puts him at three for six. And the wide open shot from Connaughton. From outside, off the mark. And James throws it down hard. This is classic LeBron leaping off the floor for a powerful dunk. Pass to Connaughton. Jackson has the open look. And the three off target. In the corner, it's James. LeBron brings it from the corner. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. And the Lakers have possession. After the basket by Milwaukee. Pass to Russell. Back to LeBron. LeBron, oh, look out! Goodness. Look out! Wow, okay, I see you. Yeah, just too much big boy basketball by LeBron James, just bodying defenders inside. And Connaughton has it in the corner. Right outside. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Outside for Jackson. Milwaukee needs to get off a shot here. Drills the three-pointer. Connaughton's got a pair of triples in the second now for the Bucks. Yeah, he's just a confident shooter from the three-point range, even with the D hovering near him. James. James absolutely owning the inside. Now, look, a coach is going to trust LeBron James to just put up monster numbers because that's who he is. But it is nice to see him get into a nice groove like this. Jackson from long range. The rebound by James. And so James will bring it up for Los Angeles. Here's Russell with the three. He's now one for two with that button. Good form on the jump shot. Russell's ability to stretch the floor makes him even more valuable. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Prince. Back to right. Prince outside. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Right wing. Here's Christie. And that one released in time, but no good. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for the Lakers. That quarter had to take a lot out of him. He racked up 12 points. Back to the action in just a minute. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Los Angeles leading by 15. And Greg, two seasons ago, the Bucks ranked first in defensive rating. Last season, they dropped down to number 19. Yeah, shifting defensive schemes, coaching changes, also swapping Drew Holiday for Damian Lillard. But they can and should be better than 19. Arguably one of the best bigs of his generation, Anthony Davis. I know you admire his game. Well, he takes over the game on both ends of the floor. You would look at a Tim Duncan, a Kevin Garnett, a guy that can beat you with five blocks or a guy.